My friend, um, tell us a story. You and Butkus in your hotel room, night before his final ball game, where you begged Butkus not to play. Yeah, I remember that pretty good. I, and I'm talking to him and I'm saying, Dick, uh, you know, and I knew he was, we walked in a room and he was limping. And I said, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm getting ready for tomorrow. I said, well, you know what? Uh, call it a year. I said, Dick, you know, you're going to go out there and what's going to happen is they're going to come shooting for you. You know, you've dominated this whole league for years. You know, you've taken, you've taken ball players, you've tore them apart. Now you're a wounded duck and they're going to come after you. And, and they will do that. He goes, you know, I remember he said back in the time when the guy would come through the ball, or would come through the line, I'd hit him and then down he'd go. He said, now, he said, they come through the line. He said, I'd make a step and I'm dragging my leg and I hit him and, and they'll go over five or six yards. And it was the saddest thing I ever, you know, and I don't even Dick could probably even remember him telling me this. And it was the saddest thing I ever heard because here was such a champion, such a great football player. And yet again, he knew that going out that next day was going to be it. Because it he knew he couldn't move. And so I said, you know what, just brilliant. tell him that you can't play. Tell him you can't get in there. Tell him that you, you know, it just doesn't work. Your leg is a shot. I can't do that. So we get in the game, and lo and behold, halftime, I think they know they moved me to middle linebacker, and they, they knocked him out of the game. And that was it. That was it for him playing. And again, too, it's, it's, it's a sad thing. It happened. I saw it happen to Gail Sayers. It's playing with Gail Sayers in an exhibition game. We're in this game, and I'm saying, Gail, what are you doing? And Gail would make a move. And if you ever hunted, you ever see a duck when, it, when he's taken off, and there's a one point they level off, they you sure, you stand there? Sure. That was Gail. When he'd make a cut, he was like right there, standing motionless, and guys were just wiping him out because he couldn't cut. But he went through it, and then it was over with. But that's a lot of the great players. you got to drag off the uniform off their back. Once again, thank you for joining us here on the uh, Daily Topic. Remember, Carmichael's, the place for steaks in Chicago, 1052 West Monroe Street. Try the old rotten potatoes. The phone, the carrot cake is made for you, made for you folks, too. We'll catch you next time around. I'm Chet Kopic. So long, everybody. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs>